Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're building a church converted into a house in The Sims 1. We are building on the lot 65 Gunther Goth Highway, which is the empty lot facing the Appleview Farm and just next to the Morris Cottage. It's quite a small lot, it costs just 3,500 simoleons to move into when it's empty. So the idea for building a church, I don't know, it was kind of strange. Recently I had a dream where I went into a church, and it was actually a real life church that I've been in before. But it was one of those dreams you have where you go into a building, and although the building is familiar and recognizable to you in the dream, it's somehow different, it's maybe larger, or there's extra rooms in it, or certain doors that lead to certain areas, or certain parts of the building that usually lead to other parts, are not quite the same. So in the dream, the place, the building, it's like familiar and unfamiliar at the same time. So when I was in the church in this dream, I came across this kind of living space that was kind of attached to the church, but it was completely abandoned. It was a series of rooms that were filled with old furniture, and everything was extremely dusty, as if nobody had been in there for a very long time. But it was strange because the church itself was very active, and it was currently being used, and there were lots of people in there, and it was as if nobody there realized that there was this whole living space just attached to the church and completely forgotten about. So in the dream, I kind of decided, well, if no one's living here, what would happen if I started living here? Like, there's plenty of beds, there were plenty of places to sit, there were portraits on the wall, it was kind of cozy and furnished, and it would have been quite a pleasant place to live if it wasn't so dusty and kind of abandoned. It was almost a bit creepy because it was like, why is this place like this? How come it's been forgotten? So I kind of settled into this house inside the church and I realized I'd left the door open and other people started coming in. And I think they realized we could live here too, or we could at least spend some time here, but it was still very quiet and calm in there kind of shut away from the busyness of the church itself. But then in the bedroom I was in, I opened another door, and it opened not to the rest of the church, but to the outside. And all of a sudden, a load of light flooded in, and you could really see how dusty the rooms were. And there was a mother with her child walking past the door that I had just opened to the outside. And the child noticed the open door and said, Mommy, look, a mysterious house. What's in here? And it was at this point in the dream that I realized I wasn't going to be able to stay here because effectively I was squatting there. Like I didn't own that place as a property. I wasn't renting it. I was just staying in a hidden place that nobody knew about. And as soon as it was discovered, it wasn't hidden anymore. So I think I really like the idea of creating a kind of secret space that you wouldn't expect within an existing building. I mean, buildings get converted into other buildings for different uses all the time, but I thought it would be fun to actually build a church in The Sims and then kind of convert it so it still looks like a church, it still has lots of features that a church maybe would have, but it has a completely different use as a building. I originally thought it might be a good idea to build this as a community lot, and then lots of sims could just come and visit. It could be kind of a meeting place, a hangout spot in Old Town. But I decided to make it residential. I kind of like the idea that maybe the church, when it was a church, had fallen into disrepair. And maybe a wealthy sim had come along and offered to buy it and kind of restore it. Like maybe the local authorities are kind of keen to have someone take it off their hands because it's maybe becoming a bit of an eyesore, it's a bit worse for wear, maybe it's bringing property prices down in the area, I don't know. So to kind of add to the lore a little bit of this storyline, I decided to burn some sims and bury them in the graveyard behind the church because I had started building the church and I was starting to think, 
what am I going to do with the outside of the church? And isn't it kind of normal to have a graveyard alongside a church? Wouldn't it make sense to have some Sims buried here? So the rumor is that there's a wealthy, noble, historic family buried in the graveyard. And I suppose anyone who moved into the church would have to contend with their ghosts. For sure, this is not going to be a dream home for everybody. But if you want to live somewhere different from your typical suburban home, it might be something you could consider. In terms of the floor plan and the kind of functionality of the space, I wanted to keep the ground floor of the church kind of similar to how it would have been when it was being used for church services. So most of the space downstairs is taken up by the pews, and there are quite a lot of them. Then there's a kind of altar area where the preacher would stand up and address the congregation. I've just put two desks there. There's a vase of flowers and a plate of cookies. I'm not sure why I put cookies there. I guess I'm pretending that it's bread for communion or something. Then behind that, you've got the curved far end part of the church. I decided this was where the kitchen was going to be. So there's a fridge and stove and a sink and a very small place to prepare food and a dining table and two chairs. There is no smoke alarm, so any sim cooking in this kitchen will have to be very careful to not set the church on fire. There are two stone staircases leading upstairs and this is where most of the living space really is. There are two side rooms which are basically symmetrical, both facing each other. One is the bathroom, and the other is the second bedroom, with two twin beds. And then above the kitchen area is the main bedroom, and it's quite a luxurious grand room, with a four-poster bed, and its own desk, and dresser. There's no lounge room or living room, but there's a chair and bookcase on the upstairs landing. And there are plenty of places to sit in the church main area downstairs. Outside, I put a lover's swing on its own kind of mini patio, as well as obviously the graveyard, which is surrounded by a white picket fence. The upstairs outside walls are decorated with these kind of large gargoyle statues, which I kind of like to think have been there for a very long time maybe protecting the church, warding off evil spirits. I was pretty happy with how the lot turned out overall. I think for a church, maybe it could have been good to build it on a larger lot and make it a bit more expansive. But I like to think of it more as kind of a smaller local neighborhood church. It's not supposed to be like a cathedral or anything too grand. I will leave a link in the description to the playlist of all the other build videos I've made in The Sims 1. Do like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.